we've created a window of opportunity for you to enhance your designs. The first feature of the Summer 2018 update is our new window tools. When you insert or select a window, you'll see new controls similar to wood decks and pergolas. In the panel menu, we can select each component of the window to customize it. First, we can create windows with multiple panes, instead of placing multiple windows next to one another. We simply select the number of panes we need for our window, then we can even adjust the thickness of the pane divider. Next, we can customize the size and thickness of all other components. We now have controls for casing thickness, frame width, and sizes for rows and columns. If we need a rectangle window with an arch top, simply press the button to add the arch to the top of our rectangle automatically. Arch windows also see new options with the ability to set rotation, casing, and frame width, and add rows and columns. We can adjust all of these settings in 2D or 3D and see them change instantly. In materials, we'll find eight new window frame materials in both vinyl and wood finishes. While we're focused on our house, we'll see a number of new and updated features here as well. First, the new foundation option, previously called floor, will automatically cut away and remove the terrain inside of the house. This creates a flat level surface inside of the home. Now it will look perfect when you look into the house through your windows. Next, we have a new floating floor option. This allows you to add floors to your house right where you need them to be. You can set the thickness and pick what elevation you need the floor to be in the house. Now you only need to draw one house shape to show both the first and second story. We've also added a ceiling button. When turned on, we'll see a ceiling at the top of the house from the inside, and when off, we'll see the vaulted roof lines. This new feature along with foundation is very helpful if your window overlaps two house shapes. Simply turn off the ceiling and or the foundation to remove the lines between the windows where they appear. A popular request has been the ability to adjust the water level inside of pools and spas, and now you can customize exactly that. Select your pool and spa in 2D and adjust the new water level value. You can set the value from negative 3 inches all the way to the top of your lip height. Your spillovers and negative edges will update accordingly as well in 3D, and smart data will update accordingly as well. And use the new All Sides feature for hardscape coping to have the coping wrap around the entire shape, even if other hardscapes or terrain are set to a taller height. And while we're in hardscapes or steps and benches, we'll also notice staircases have an additional point of manipulation. Adjust the depth of individual steps with the Move tool to use these new points. And when starting your projects, you can now load PDF documents as background images. And in configuration, we'll find new settings to have measurements and height label appear as either feet and inches, or as only inches. We also see a number of new settings for the height label. First, pergolas and wood decks can now have a height label added, and we'll find the option to hide or display these labels in construction markup as well. And in construction markup, we'll also see a new layer for wood decks, which are no longer grouped with hardscapes. But hardscapes get some special attention too with a new 2D coping option found under the Hide Unhide menu. In page layout, we'll see a number of improvements to text tables. We can press and hold Shift on the keyboard to select multiple table fields and click the arrows to merge cells together and unmerge them as well. We can also select individual lines and adjust their border setting in the menu as well. And finally, we can add and delete rows and columns using the new menus around the text table. While we're in page layout, we can now adjust our page order simply by dragging and dropping the page tabs along the bottom of the screen. In the library, we'll see a fresh new look to many items in the equipment category, including skimmers, pool cleaners, mailboxes, and a new animated water flow. And in the characters category, we'll find 12 new posed adult models. Structure Studio's augmented reality app Yard also sees a number of enhancements and improvements such as autocomplete. Draw your shape and connect it back to another, and tap the green checkbox to autocomplete your shape. Thanks for watching. Make sure to read the blog for the full list of all fixes, features, and enhancements found in this update. You can reach us at 800-778-8996 or email support at structurestudios.com with any questions, concerns, or feedback.